We owe these first responders a tremendous debt of thanks for what they do for us. And the funny thing is for a lot of us, a lot of British Columbians, too often we don't think twice about it because it just feels like it's natural. And I want to take a moment to remind all British Columbians today that if you see a first responder, whether it's a police officer, ambulance paramedic, firefighter, or anybody who's on the front lines for us, take a minute to shake their hand and say thank you for what they do. We are gathered together to dedicate a garden of honour, a place where families, friends and visitors can pause to remember the men and women of the first responder agencies who have lost their lives in line of duty. The garden ties in the three memorials dedicated to the police, firefighter and paramedic communities that we are fortunate and grateful to rely upon. When in full bloom, the garden will reflect the colours of the flag of British Columbia. Madam Speaker, you deserve our thanks for the work that you're doing in ensuring we have a place to remember those who are lost and those who've made the sacrifices, so many sacrifices over the years. It's important that we take these moments and acknowledge those who have done so much for all of us. And on behalf of all British Columbians, the first responders who are here today, and especially to the families of those who have lost a loved one in the line of duty, thank you for your sacrifice for the people of British Columbia.